what would you do if this service head was live? And more importantly, how would you even know? This isn't just a theoretical question. Older service heads can become dangerous and a quick visual check won't always cut it. Over time, the black phenolic resin used in older service heads can break down, a process known as phenolic degradation. This material was once state of the art, tough, insulating and widely used. But decades of heat, mechanical stress and environmental exposure can cause the resin to crack, deform and even become conductive. And if the internal insulation fails, the entire head housing can become energized. And if there's a pen fault, not only can that cause the service head to become live, but any extraneous metalwork in the installation could potentially rise to a dangerous potential. And that's where the TIS 810 Direct Contact Voltage Tester comes in. This compact little tool is designed specifically to detect voltage on exposed conductive parts, terminals, metalworks, and even service heads like this. And using the 810 is simple. You touch the contact tip to the exposed conductive parts, metal conduits, trunkings, enclosures, or even the surface of this old service head. If voltage is present, the built-in indicator will light up, warning you that this part may be live. The only difficult thing about the TIS 810 is pronouncing phenolic degradation. Phenolic degradation, again. Phenolic degradation. Phenolic degradation. Phenolic degradation. Phenolic degradation. Phenolic degradation. Ah! <laughs> So don't take chances. If you're working near old service heads or any part of the installation where integrity is uncertain, check it first with this TIS 810. It might be a small tool, but it could save your life. 